Red Max Entertainment, turning music into memories. What is going on, everybody? Brandon Havrilla from Red Max Entertainment, and today we are taking a look at speakers. These are powered speakers, and these are the EV EKX 15 inch powered speakers. So, EKX is not EV's flagship model, their flagship model meaning highest you know, highest ones that they sell in the series is the ETX. Um, and I've heard those and they sound fantastic as well, but they are bigger, they're more professional, and with that they come for more money. So the EKX is one step down, and I believe for most places they're around like $900, um, $899, something like that. So I wanna get this thing up on a tripod for you guys so we could take a look at the whole thing on the outside and especially look at the digital display on the outside. So now just to go through a few features on this thing, um, one of my favorite features is the digital display. So it's got a LCD like digital display screen on the back of it, which allows you to control various settings of the speaker itself, which is very awesome. It's also got forced air cooling technology in it. So there's a built-in fan that keeps this thing cool, which is very good for summer parties, outdoor parties, things where you don't want to worry uh, you don't want to have to worry about your speakers overheating and um, not being able to handle the heat outside let alone the heat that they're putting off themselves this thing is a 134 decibel peak 1500 watt class d amplifier which most of the ones in this class all have that 1500 watt class d amplifier uh this thing is about 27 inches tall from bottom to top i've got two of them here stacked on top of each other the bottom one's got the case on it because i love to keep the finish the way they are right out of the box so this uh cover slash case will keep it really nice now this cabinet only weighs about 53.8 pounds now i know what you're thinking 53.8 pounds only that's a lot however it's not for this size speaker and for what the speaker does it's really not that heavy um, compared to some other ones that are out there but at the same time you can find lighter ones that are 15 inch as well this speaker has a 15 millimeter plywood construction build to it uh, very nice and durable and it's coated in that kind of gritty paint on the outside so it feels really good um, almost like that water resistant material and I believe this thing comes with a three-year manufacturer's warranty don't quote me on that but I believe it is three years which is very awesome to have when you're spending this much money on a piece of equipment so I'm gonna get this thing up on a tripod and I'll see you in a second so as you guys can see here this speaker looks really nice from the front it looks really nice and as we spin this around that appearance just continues all the way into the back nice smooth design the handle wells are very well built and uh, as you can see on the back here where the amplifier the fan is the inputs and outputs all that stuff is right on the back with a very nice look now on the front quick you'll see the EV logo down at the bottom here you'll also see a little LED under that when we power it up um, that LED can be set to indicate that the speaker is on or you could use it to indicate that the speaker is limiting so if you're using this for live sound for a band and you're going to be out front of house in front of the speakers you want to see that they're limiting from the front now if you're in the back you'll see that they're limiting on the dsp the digital display okay so we are now taking a look at the back of this speaker and uh, as you can see, we've got a power switch, an on-off switch down here. We've got our AC in, which is our power in. It's your standard IEC. And then up here, we've got our inputs, outputs, digital display. And here you can see our cooling fan, as well as the serial number and other specs on this speaker. Now, one feature right off the bat that I notice is the back of this. Um, the way this well with the buttons, the inputs, the... Um, turn knobs and everything is recessed in which is a very nice feature so you don't have to worry about these knobs sticking out and getting broken off and uh, kind of protects the knobs a little bit and the display screen so along with our power input down here we have two combo jack inputs which uh, if you're not familiar with combo jack inputs you could basically put an xlr in here or a quarter inch now along with those two combo jack inputs you do get a separate gain control for each of those inputs you also have an RCA input right here 
which is awesome to be able to plug in an iPod or something, and you could use it almost as a backup system. So if for something were to fail with your main mixer, you could plug in an iPod straight to one of these speakers and uh, run the rest of your show off that until you fix the other problem. Now the input one switch here does control the RCA and the first combo jack. So you do not have a separate volume control on the RCA input, but again, this is not your mixer, this is just your speaker. So to have that much control is pretty amazing. Now along with that, you have your output and your through, so you could chain multiple of these speakers together or send your signal out to a subwoofer or some other kind of speaker. I'm going to power this thing up and you'll see the digital display here turn on. It opens up with the EV logo, it tells you it's the EKX15P standing for powered, and here we've got our menu. So now you'll see right off the bat, level, zero decibels, and you've got your two inputs. So when I start putting sound through this, you'll see those levels bounce up, and you've got a line here for where they're going to peak. Very handy. Now this is your main knob where you can push to press enter on the digital display, or you could cycle through your settings. So you'll see right off the bat, I can up the gain, the decibels, up to 10 dBs, or you could actually bring it down to, I believe it's negative 68, maybe? Negative, negative 80, sorry, I took that back. So you can go down to negative 80 and then mute. So you could actually mute the speaker right on the speaker itself. And you can go all the way up. Now I have never had to go above zero, but I have had to actually turn it down below zero at some events, um, partially just to reduce a hum or a buzz that was coming from a faulty power loop or something like that. But I have turned it down below zero dBs, um, but I have not turned it up past zero dBs at an event. Now diving right into what the digital display could do. If you push the button in once, now you're in the menu mode where you can edit this. So now that you're taking a look at the screen, you can see what I was talking about, the levels and the inputs and your decibel readings. And uh, we're gonna cycle through the menu. So here we are in the menu. First things first is the mode. You could choose whether you're in a live speech club and there's also music mode. So that adjusts the EQ slightly on the box um, depending on what you're doing. For example, I think club would probably give it more bass whereas live might give it some more high end. So you could adjust that accordingly to where you like it. Next one down is the location. You could tell it where the speaker is. Do you have it on a tripod like I do now? Do you have it as a monitor? Do you have it on the wall or against the wall? Do you have it suspended? Did you fly it? Um, and those are your options. Once you get what you want, you just press enter again. Now you're back to the main mode here. Here you could turn on whether you're using a sub and you could set your frequency that the sub is getting cut off at or you could choose the exact sub if it's in the e, uh, or the EV line of speakers. So you can see we have the EKX here, the ELX. Next we have our EQ, we have a treble, mids and bass. And then we have our LEDs. So this is the LED on front, which I was telling you, you could set to always on, just showing that there's power, or you could set it to limiting. So only when the speaker is limiting, that LED will be on. Next, we've got our LCD dim and the brightness and contrast. That's of this LCD screen here. And lastly, you could store it. I believe you could store up to five presets in the speaker itself. So if you play one venue often, you could adjust these settings on both speakers and save them so you could recall them at any point. Now, overall, I've only gotten a chance to use these speakers at about three events now, and I love them so far. Um, for what I'm using them for, they're fantastic, especially for some live sound uses that I've done so far with them. Um, as far as bands and stuff like that, they definitely put out a lot of bass as well as a nice, crisp, clean sound quality on the high end of things. One thing that I have noticed along with that is that the high end on these is in some cases a little too high for my ears um, so that's why you notice when we went through the digital display screen there i actually had the treble taken out 2 dbs and that i found to sound more quote unquote normal to me now these speakers are excellent and if you already own the ekx series or if you own any other in the line so if you own the zlx if you own the etx whatever you guys own or if you don't even own ev comment below let me know what you think and of course, if you like this video, leave a like. It really helps me bring you more content like this. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you're looking into these speakers, I'm sure you're gonna love them. They're a great pair of speakers. And uh, thank you guys for watching.